In this video trailer, I'm going to look at why is an intraday stop loss so crucial? And no, not just for the point you're thinking. Hey traders, a warm welcome to you. Okay, so why is an intraday stop loss so crucial? If you're a day trader, you must watch this video. Right, you're thinking now, I know an intraday stop loss is so crucial, I'm about to click the X button because I need to manage my risk. Well, that's the obvious one. However, there are other less obvious reasons why it is so crucial. And they kind of dig into the whole reason why you're trading in the first place. So the first one is, listen, professionals and proprietary traders do it and they do it because yes, you need to keep the risk managed, but also trust. They are entrusting capital in your hands. When you are trading, you are trusting yourself to trade the capital. That's the way you have to look at it. Whatever your trading pot is, your trading account size is, you are trusting yourself to use that in the most effective way possible. If you have a stop loss of X, let's say it's $1,000, just for argument's sake, it could be 10 times that or it could be 10 times less, whatever. You've got that level of risk on the day and you've decided in the cool, calm light of day in your trading plan to not risk more than that per day. If you go over that, you have breached the trust of the person giving you that capital to trade. In our case, most of the time, it is going to be yourself. You are breaching and abusing your own trust. If you're trading prop, you're abusing the trust of the company who's giving you the capital to trade. But you can see now, why it's so important. And often when you go over that intraday stop loss and you don't stick to it and you abuse that parameter in yourself, even though there are consequences financially, as we know, which is not what we're talking about, the obvious ones of keeping the risk capped generally, but you're abusing the trust and you're not trusting yourself that your plan is true. And so that is going to follow on in many aspects of your trading. Let me explain what I mean. So if you say $1,000, use that as your daily loss limit, and you go over that, and you start carrying on trading, what you're basically saying is, do you know what? I don't think that the plan is effective. I know better than you because I am overruling you in the coal, in the, in the market action. And I think I know better now than what you know when you were sitting down and you were spending time writing this plan. That's exactly what you're saying. And so that's a big trust issue because if you can't even trust something as big as that, how are you gonna to trust to pull the trigger on a setup and a strategy, to take one specific strategy, to not take another, to do all the things in your trading plan that you know you need to do. So it's a big trust issue. Then we come down to the care, you know, managing risk effectively. This is a blase attitude to risk. If you can't manage risk on this high level, you shouldn't be hitting your intraday stop loss regularly anyway. But on the very rare occasion that you do, you should be able to cut the loss quickly and take a step back. It should be an emergency core type situation, the second parachute, the emergency handbrake or the e-brake as you call it in America. It's that kind of thing. It's like, hey, I never use it. When I do, I don't think about it. I just do it. And so you've got a duty of care. You know, if you were managing somebody else's money, I hope you would take more care than it is yourself, which is why in prop people who are trading prop or people who have got accountability from account managers tend to do better. But it's the same for yourself. You have to have the care. You've got custody of that capital. Take good care of it. Okay, now next one, guys, is consequences. What are the consequences that you need to have if you break this, and there should be consequences. You can't just gloss over it. I don't care what it is. I often say, hey, imagine you are managing a group of traders. How would you expect them to behave? You've got a million pounds, a million dollars, a million euros. You're allocating 100 grand to 10 of your traders. What would you say and feel if they went over that max loss limit? You would feel like, hey, they're not caring for the capital you're giving them. You can't trust them with that capital. And they should have consequences, right? They shouldn't be able to break the rules and get away with it because they're just going to do it again and again and again. Same for you. If you're breaking your rules, put in some consequences. And okay, I'm not saying you can stop straight away breaking the rules. The point is, this is how we get over it. So if you are breaking those intraday loss limit rules, add some consequences in. Consequences are close down for the day, go on to demo, force yourself to take a break. Any of those or all of those, depending on how severe it is, 
you know, if you can't trust yourself with the capital, you definitely need to go home for the day. If you can't trust yourself and you're going over, you need to go on a demo until you can prove that you can trade effectively again, because you're obviously doing something wrong if you're going well over the limit and you're continuing to trade. And the big one, which, you know, you've got to force yourself from time to time, guys, is force yourself to take a break. So you know what? I went over my loss limit then. I didn't pull, I didn't come out of it when I should have done. That's a warning sign. That's a warning sign that next time I do it, I could blow this thing up. So I'm going to take a break for a week and I'm not going to touch the market. Just having the discipline to do that, and it comes now to this one, discipline will save your account. Final thing, guys, discipline. This will spread to other aspects of your trading. If you are poor disciplined in this, the intraday stop loss, you are going to be poorly disciplined in your trigger pulling. You're going to be poorly disciplined in your research, in the work you put outside of the market, and all the things that we know we need to do to be great traders. This is such a small chunk of it, and it's something that we should be the most disciplined in because it's the most crucial stage of like, hey, emergency, stuff's going to lose big money here. If you can't pull the rug on your trade, trading and pull the pin out when you're in this scenario you are going to struggle in other scenarios when the pressure isn't so great when you know it might not be so many consequences but you know that the multiplication of those bad decisions won't get you to where you need to be chasing the market for example you get away with it a lot of times but you know over the, the, the general period of 100 sets you're going to lose money because you're chasing it's going to pull back on you you get the point so Intraday stop loss is so important, obviously for the risk parameters perspective, but for these as well, the trust aspect of it, breaking the trust, the care aspect of it, you're a custodian and you've got care of this capital and you're not performing as you should do. The consequences that you need to implement and have in place if you break the rules, if you if you deceive the trust, if you break the trust, and then the discipline. You know, If you've got the discipline to always know that, hey, not one day is gonna damage me, it's comforting. You're like, hey, what is my loss limit for the day? It's X amount. Okay, today I'm never going to lose more than that. It's liberating knowing I can go in, I can fight, I can play the game, I can do my very, very best. And the worst that's going to happen is to me is I lose a thousand dollars or whatever that is for you. The best could be way more than that, but at least I know my lost in it. Right, let's go, let's focus, let's attack, let's get the good trades, let's press the ones that are right, let's do the right thing, let's follow the trading plan day after day after day after day, knowing I've got that safety net and knowing that safety net will hold because I trust myself, I've got a good care and I've proven that I can stick the intraday stop loss limit. So it goes deeper than just the risk guys. Those are some other things. Comments in the comment section below. Take care. See you in the next one. Goodbye.